Hello everybody, this is Jaren from arenanreef.com. Today we're doing a product spotlight on the Arcadia T5 replacement lamps. These lamps will replace your regular T5 fluorescent lamps with an LED light. It'll give you additional energy savings as well as longer bulb life. These lamps come in four different colors. They come in a marine white and in a marine blue, which is actinic. These are what most people with saltwater tanks would use. And they also come in a tropical pro as well as a freshwater pro that most freshwater users would use. The lamps you're showing off today are replacements for 39 watt T5s or three foot T5 fixtures. The marine blue lamp is gonna be 3512 and the marine white lamp is gonna be 3105. It's roughly twice the cost of your average T5 lamp, but these are made to last five years, whereas your T5 lamps are going to last just a year. So you're gonna get significantly more life out of them. Now, the number one question we get with these lamps is how to install them in your T5 fixture. So we have a two bulb coral light fixture here. We're gonna put these bulbs in. We're gonna start out by turning off your fixture, removing the current lamps that you have inside of it so it's open like we have here. From there, we want to remove the lamps from the packaging. Now when you take the lamps out of the packaging, they're going to include these protective covers over the ends of the, um, the lamp pins itself. I've um, had a few customers um, not realize that. They are a little tough to get off. You can use your fingers, just pull on them for both sides. All right, there's our first lamp ready. One other thing to mention is that while your traditional T5 lamp emits light in 360 degrees all the way around the lamp, these definitely do have an, a light side or an upside and a downside. They need to have the LEDs facing down into the tank. And because of that, it's gonna make the installation just a little bit different from how we would install a traditional T5 lamp. Once you have your lamps on out, you're gonna go ahead and lower them down into the fixture. You're gonna to wanna to start with the pins on the lamp facing vertically, and the pins actually rotate. Now drop them in. Now what we wanna do is hold the lamp steady and rotate the end cap so that the pins go horizontal. All right, so we have the pins horizontal here. Do the same on the other end, pins horizontal. Then we're gonna repeat, repeat the process with the second lamp as well. Now that you have the lamps in place, you should be able to power on your fixture and test. So we're gonna flip the switch, everything turned on. Now, one question we get a lot is a lot of people will call and report that some of the LEDs are lighting up, but not all of them. What usually causes this is that one end of the fixture is loose. So I actually just loosened this part here. I'm going to turn the fixture back on and you'll sometimes see that'll shut everything down or sometimes it'll just light part of it. So it's very important that these end caps make full connection. There, there we go. You can see when, when it's not complete, only part of it's going to light up. That will cause some of the flickering. So because of that, you're going to want to make sure that all of the end caps are making a complete connection in the fixture. When you're selecting the Arcadia lamps, make sure that you don't use them in any T5 fixture that isn't well ventilated, and also no fixtures with metal halide lamps also. These lamps are more sensitive to overheating than your traditional T5s. If you have any other questions about the Arcadia lamps, you can feel free to contact product support at marineandreef.com. 